Hi everyone, my name is Jason Cly, and today we're going to be talking about the history of Boingo Boingo. So originally, who is Oingo Boingo? Uh, Oingo Boingo is, well, was started by Richard Elfman. He originally formed the band The Mystic Knights of Oingo Boingo in 1972. Um, it, it was originally called that, but eventually it was shortened to just Oingo Boingo, and then finally they just settled on Boingo. Um, Richard would soon pass Oingo Boingo off to his little brother, Danny Elfman, because Richard wanted to, he wanted to start producing movies. Um, but in doing so, his little brother Danny uh, was asked to create the soundtracks for many of his films, uh, starting with his first film, The Forbidden Zone, around 1980. Uh, Richard would continue producing films until 2019, uh, ending with his final movie, Aliens, Clowns, and Geeks. Uh, part two, Danny Elfman. Uh, Danny Elfman, which is little brother, takes over Oingo Boingo, um, and he's making he's making songs and soundtracks for his older brother, uh, and then eventually he decides to make his own music. And but due to his inability to settle on a certain type of music, it was really hard for critics to categorize him and the band, because um, most of the song themes he used Balinese polyrhythms as well as West African melodies, which include a lot of horns, um, and drums, etc. Um, but Oingo Boingo soon became popular among many underground music enthusiasts, uh, and eventually Danny Elfman would disband Oingo Boingo around 1995, but he would continue making music for many directors and, and uh, film studios, uh, directors, some like Tim Burton for like Nightmare Before Christmas, and also made music for Disney. Um, yeah, and we're going to move on to the, the timeline. So, Mystic Knights of Oingo Boingo. It was born by Richard Elfman in, in 1972, uh, slowly, slowly changing to Oingo Boingo and then just Boingo. Um, in 1980, Richard passes Oingo Boingo to his little brother, Danny Elfman, and he starts making soundtracks for his older brother, who is now producing movies. Danny would go on to produce his first album in 1981, uh, titled Oingo Boingo. Uh, many critics were confused at first and believed it would never be listened to by the teenage population, which music at that time was aimed towards. Uh, but despite all, all the disapprovals, um, Danny would release four albums between 1981 and 1984 and hit many top charts in the early mid-80s. Mid um, in 1985, film industry, many major film industries would pick up Oingo Boingo's music for their soundtracks. Uh, prior to 1985, around like 1982, the first film to pick up, pick it up besides uh, Richard, uh, would be Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which is produced around 1982. Uh, Oingo Boingo would write the theme song, uh, and as well as the ending music, uh, would be uh, Goodbye Goodbye. Um, and then in 1995, uh, Oingo Boingo would set off for their Halloween-themed farewell tour, uh, eventually ending in at the Universal Amphitheater. Um, these are their national top hits. Um, they're more; these are more of their widely known songs across the nation, which is. From Dead Man's Party, Dead Man's Party, Weird Science, Just Another Day, and Fool's Paradise. From Nothing to Fear would be Grey Matter. And from their very first album, Only a Lad, it would be Imposter. Um, Dead Man's Party, Weird Science, and Fool's Paradise are my top three favorite Oingo Boingo songs. Um, if you need dough, uh, Nothing to Fear is the green and red one. Dead Man's Party is the more... Uh, with like the skeletons and everything, and then only as they are labeled. Uh, only Lad being their first ever album, next to um, 
their original album, which is just titled Oingo Boingo. Imposter is the top hit song when they first came out. Now we're going to talk about Oingo Boingo movies. Like I said before, Fast Times at Ridgemont High was one of those movies, um, as well as Weird Science, which is unironically named the same as the song that's used in the movie, like throughout the, mus throughout the movie. And then Ghostbusters 2, they only used it like once, um, which is Flesh and Blood, um, which is only used in like one short scene, which is which is this one that I'm going to show you, this bottom right one, yeah, that's the only scene they're used in, uh, and besides that, thank you so much for listening, and I hope you take a listen to Oingo Boingo, thank you.